Let's continue on with this quick start guide tutorial by delving into the headshot library. Now, don't let the name fool you. You can put more than just headshots in here. The headshot library is where you will upload any images you use to promote yourself when doing submissions in order to get audition opportunities and direct bookings. The images you place into the headshot library will show up in your auditions and direct booking forms. The aim is to enable you to see which pictures get you in the door most often for auditions and direct bookings, and which ones that don't. Ultimately, you want to stop wasted time, energy, and money on submitting pictures that do not work for you and only submit the pictures that are effective for your business. And Performer Track will help you discover this. By the way, you can upload unlimited images into your headshot library. We do not charge you if you go over a certain amount. The sky is the limit. However, the only restriction we do place on you is that the images that you upload have to be 150K in file size or less. If you do not know how to resize your images to this file size requirement, do not worry. We can help. Remember, tech support is always free. Just go to help, support, tech support, and let us know that you need help resizing your pictures. To get into the headshot library, Go to the top toolbar and select Logs, Essentials Log, Headshot Library. To add images into your headshot library, go to the Add Headshot area and click on the Browse button. Now locate the image file on your computer's hard drive. Notice how I'm in a folder for Jack Jones in his headshots? And here are the headshots. If you can't see them, it's always advised to look at the images by changing the way you view them. For example, here on Windows 7, I can click on extra large icons. Now I can see all of my pictures. Once you locate a picture you want to upload into your Performer Track account, look at the image and think about the name that would best describe it. Don't just name a headshot main theatrical picture, try being specific perhaps by describing the clothes you are wearing, for example, loosened tie, or by character type, like young detective, or by mood, like stressed out. This will help you better identify your headshots as your library grows. Once you come up with a name, then select the picture. Now put in the name you came up with in the headshot name field box. Don't worry if the headshot name seems strange, these images and their names are for your eyes only. Remember, only you have access to your Performer Track account. So, I like the name Stressed Out. Next, if you would like to enter any kind of description about your image, for example, where it was taken, time of day, what happened during the shoot, then you can put that here. This is basically a general notes field. If you don't want to put any description, you could leave it blank. Next, select the headshot type that best suits your image. Now, enter in the photographer who took your picture. To add a new photographer to the drop down menu, click the Add button. This will launch the Create New Contact pop up window. The photographer you add will automatically appear as a contact in your contact section. This will save you a ton of time as you do not have to manually enter him or her again in the contact section. Then if you can recall when the picture was taken, click on the calendar icon next to the date shot field box. That will launch the calendar picker and select the date the picture was taken. Finally, click the Save button to upload the image. Voila! There is your newly uploaded headshot. Now repeat these steps and upload each headshot or promo image you currently use into your Performer Track account.